Hey, it's Tiffany. And Jeremy. And we're married with reviews. We are. And tonight we're going to be reviewing. Do you remember? Are we doing Valet? The Valet. The Valet. And it was on Netflix, right? Nope. No, Hulu. Hulu. It's a Hulu exclusive movie that I just happened to be in the room the other day. And Tiffany's like, let's watch something. I said, okay. We threw it on different things. We, I picked Hulu. And I was like, uh, I don't know nothing about this. And there's something called the ballet that popped up. I said, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. And I'm very glad we did. Me too. Me too. It was a cute little movie. It was. It was funny. Uh huh. It uh, was the touching. Yeah. Like it like was like, oh, I can relate to this guy. I like him. He's good. Yeah. You know, uh, the woman. Uh, okay. Let's give a little little premise of what's happening. You want to do it or me? You're better at it. Mm, okay. So, The Valet is uh, a movie. It's actually a remake from like a French movie from a long time ago. And it stars some guy I've never seen before in my life. He's a Hispanic guy. And that comes into play because of all the different cultures and stuff that come on later in the game. So, it's like him and his whole Hispanic family are speaking Spanish. I loved it. He's a valet at like a restaurant in Beverly Hills. And this blonde, pretty uh, actress that uh, is on top of the world. So these movies coming out. And basically what happens is she's having an affair with like a billionaire guy that's very wealthy. And uh, she's having an affair with him. And one night she gets tired because he won't leave his wife. And then our main character, the Hispanic guy, Let me is in. This riding is on his spoiling. bike and hits the car, the Uber that the famous actress is getting into. And paparazzi start taking their pictures and doing all that. And that sets the premise up of our movie. That's not a spoiler. I just want people to know it's not spoiling. Not at all. Just, this is the premise of the movie. So... Um, what happens is now the famous actress girl doesn't want to be labeled a homewrecker and the billionaire guy doesn't want his wife to find out. So they hire the guy on the bike, our main character, the Hispanic guy, and they pay him money to act like he is the boyfriend of the famous actress. No, I want to put names. I do not know. Her name is like Samara Weaving or something. I've only seen her in one other movie where she was kicking everybody's butt. And it was awesome. Really? Yes, it was awesome. The she blonde was, Yes, she was killing everybody. That's the one I put on for our anniversary back in 2020 because we had had no movies in 2020. And you were like, what is this? I'm not watching this. And she was just taking everybody out of the game. And it okay. was awesome. All right, so I'm like, who are these people? All right, like I said, Samara Weaving. Uh huh. And oh, our main guy is named Ingenio? Eugenio Derbeze. No. So anyway, I, there's a bunch of people. He played Antonio. Yeah, Antonio. That's his name. So Antonio uh, rode his bike into the back of the car. They paid him, you know, money, and he's like, okay, and. Everybody kept saying the actress in the valet, the actress in the valet. And they're like, why would you be with this 50-year-old man as a valet? Nobody believed it. But go ahead. There's a reason behind all of this where the, the actress and the valet get together. Because there is a, um, a situation between the valet and a previous relationship that he had. So it kind of all ties together mm -hmm. to figure out why they come together. His estranged wife. It's not yeah. a spoiler. It, First couple minutes of the movie. Okay. Yeah. First couple minutes of the movie. Sorry. Thank like you. very, very beginning. They're estranged. And Thank he you. wants her back. But Thank you for correcting me. Oh, no. I'm just saying. I didn't want anybody to think it was a sport. Okay. All right. So what else would you like to tell them? That's it. I want you to go over it. The rest of it. Over the... What, what else? Anything you liked or didn't like. Okay. Because um, I gave my part. I love the mama. 
Yes. Um, the Hispanic Mama was awesome because mm. I loved watching all of that because growing up, um, I had a close friend who um, they were Hispanic or they are Hispanic, mm. and it was so awesome to kind of see how like that was legit. Like that was so cool. It, it took me back to like the days of them like arguing with each other, and, like, and it was really cool stuff. because yeah. the mom spoke nothing Spanish. And she had a boyfriend that spoke nothing but Chinese. And they would speak to each other in those languages. And another language. <laughs> yeah. A love language. <laughs> so, and then the son, our main character, what's his name? Antonio. Antonio had to translate to the mom through the guy that spoke Chinese, daughter. Not, there it was, was all one big thing. So anyway, it was funny. It was funny, funny, lighthearted, lighthearted. great movie. I'd watch it again. Mm-hmm. Um, so I mean, it was a lot good of good chill times. movie. Netflix good, and chill, good, throw that on. Good Hulu and chill movie. So, oh, yes. uh, <laughs> so, but no, for real, it's on Hulu. <laughs> great movie. Uh, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. It was just a good movie. I want to really watch good. one like that right now. Yeah. Let's watch another. It just made you happy. It's like, you know, it's just, it just makes yeah. me happy. It just makes me happy. Yeah. Easy movie. So, um, just watch it. If you have Hulu, you're just throwing it on. We threw it on one evening. Uh, she fell asleep, and we finished it the next morning. You know. I was like, no, I didn't. Good, but yes, yeah, I did, did. didn't. I? Good. That's one great about summer is you can do things like this. So, uh, let's go ahead out of five. Five what? I came up with the last one on Top Gun. So what's this? No? Cheating husbands. Ooh. Out of five cheating husbands. Well, I don't like that. I don't care. I, don't I like didn't like your last cheat. one. I don't either. You didn't like topless, like shirtless. Topless? There was nothing. Shirtless. Don't even listen to him right now. Football games. I thought it was funny. No, it's uh, not funny. Let's go with. Cheating husbands. Out of five cheating husbands. I'm going to, I mean, that was nothing spectacular, but I really liked it. I don't feel like it deserves a four, but really? three sounds low. So I'm going to give it a three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. I mean, but it was good, but mm-hmm. I'm not like, oh, it's a, yeah. I don't. I'm going to give it a four out of five cheating husbands. You know, I don't like the cheating husband aspect because I, like, I, I did not like that I don't guy like a cheating husband either. Me either. I hope my husband never cheats on me. So that being said... Four out of five for me. Quick, fun, easy watch. Three and a half out of five. Maybe four. I don't know. Somewhere in between there. So 3.75? Sure. Um, for somebody who doesn't even like math. Uh, yeah. Not a fan. Six plus six. Seven. Somewhere around there. Eleven. All right. We're done. We're done. <laughs> All right. It's been Tiffany. And Jeremy. Go Good watch work. the movie. Uh, what's it called? The Valet on, on Hulu. Hulu. Pretty solid flick. Solid. Loud. Until next time. We're going to come back with another one. This has been Jeremy. And Tiffany. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.